T.E. Lawrence, eponymously of Arabia, but very much an Englishman, favored pinching a burning match between his fingers to put it out. When asked by his colleague, William Potter, to reveal his trick, how is it he so effectively extinguished the flame without hurting himself whatsoever, Lawrence just smiled and said, the trick, Potter, is not minding it hurts. <laughs> the fire that danced at the end of that match was a gift from the Titan Prometheus, a gift that he stole from the gods who were terrified of what we might do with it were it to fall into our hairy little paws. When Prometheus was caught and brought to justice for his theft, the gods, well, you might say they overreact a little. The poor man was tied to a rock as an eagle ripped through his belly and ate his liver over and over, day after day, ad infinitum. All because he gave us fire, our first true piece of technology. Fire. Such a very long time ago. Which begs the question, what have we done with it? 100,000 BC, stone tools. 4,000 BC, the wheel. 800 BC, sundial. 9th century AD, gunpowder. Bit of a game changer, that one. 1441, the printing press. Only slightly less impactful. 19th century, steam engine, railway, eureka, the light bulb. 20th century, the automobile, television, nuclear weapons, spacecraft, internet. 21st century, biotech, nanotech, fusion and fission and M theory. And that was just the first decade. We are now three months into the year of our Lord, 2023. At this moment in our civilization, we are on the verge of terraforming planets undiscovered just a decade ago. We have identified the genetic chain of events behind 98% of cancers, a chain we have broken, effectively curing them. We can create cybernetic individuals who, in just a few short years, will be completely indistinguishable from us. Which leads to an obvious conclusion. We are the gods now. I haven't been struck down. I'll take that to mean I'm right. We wield incredible power, the power to transform, to destroy, and to create again. The question, of course, before us is what the hell are we supposed to do with this power? Or more importantly, one should ask, what are we allowed to do with this power? The answer to that, my friends, is nothing. Rules, restrictions, laws, ethical guidelines, all but forbidding us from moving forward. Well, where were the ethics during the Arabian conflicts? Why are rules preventing us from feeding impoverished cultures? How is there a law that states if we build a man from wires and metal, a man who will never grow old, who will never feel the heat of a star or the cold of the moon, how is the creation of such an incredible individual considered unnatural? The answer to all these questions is simple. These rules exist because the people who created them were afraid of what would happen if they didn't. Well, I am not afraid. For those of you who know me, 
You will be aware by now that my ambition is unlimited. You know that I will settle for nothing short of greatness, or I will die trying. For those of you who do not yet know me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Peter Wayland, and if you'll indulge me, I'd like to change the world. Get Charlie. Sooner or later, everyone does. Like mommy. Well, now, now, hast? A uns. Da drückt er. Jewis, just mach well, now, now, hast. Attention, destination threshold. Four months, 18 days, 36 hours, 15 minutes. Well, then wake him up. My name is David. <sighs> Your mind and body are in a state of shock as a result of the stasis. Hydration aids muscle mass. It's Christmas. Need the holidays to show time is still moving. The last day check, time is always moving. First trip into the deep, huh? Mission briefing is about to start, Captain. Might want to make your way down. Well, I haven't had any breakfast yet. Don't you want to know why we're here? No, ma'am. I just fly the ship. Don't this why you people hired me. <laughs> it's the season to be jolly, boys. How's your seat taken? Ah, uh, Milburn, biology. Nice to meet you. About a hundred credits is a terraforming survey. No, oh, if it's a survey, they would just tell us. This is a corporate run. They're not telling us. The rest shit. of you, I am Meredith Vickers, and it's my job to make sure you do yours. Okay, then. On with the show. I am your employer. I am recording this 22 June 2091. And I have finally found two people who have convinced me they're on the verge of answering them. Doctors Holloway and Shaw, if you would please stand. 35,000 year old cave painting from the Isle of Skye in Scotland. These are ancient civilizations. Giant beings pointing to the stars was discovered at every last one of them. And the only galactic system that matched with that system has a sun. Just one planet with a moon capable of sustaining life. And we arrived there this morning. Not a map, an invitation. From whom? We call them engineers. Doctors. Miss Vickers would like to have a quick word. You won't engage them. You won't talk to them. You will do nothing but report back to me. What did you even bring us here? Waylon was a superstitious man. He wanted a true believer on board. Cheers. 
So no response. I'm sorry, no. Maybe they didn't understand it. How are your lessons going, David? I spent two years deconstructing dozens of ancient languages. 